All right. I'm going to talk to you about three mistakes that every beginner guitar player makes. They can all be avoided very easily. And if you find this content useful, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Also, before I get started, I'm going to let you know that the book, Modern Guitar Method, that I published and wrote in 2009 is available for free at modernguitarmethod.com. So please go there and get yourself a copy. All you got to do is put in your name and email address and you'll get an email with, uh, with a PDF. So the first mistake that beginner guitar players are making, and sometimes not beginner guitar players, and sometimes old guitar players that have played way too long and are just set in their ways, the first mistake they make is anchoring their hand, okay? And what I mean by that, let's see if I can get in frame here, is they're gonna put their fingers on the fingerboard and then they're gonna start playing. Right? What that does is limits the movement. It, 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 it impedes your hand's ability to move cleanly and smoothly through all of the strings. So instead, what I want you to do is get your, get your pick properly held. I like these little teardrop picks. So make a little letter M with your index uh, thumb and the pick, or a W if you hold it upside down. Um, and then what I want you to do is I want you to just tuck your fingers in, okay? And then I'm going to show you from the side here. I'm just going to play a major scale. This angle. Okay? Let your hand be free to, to move and do what it needs to do. It's going to make your playing a lot better. Mistake number two. Mistake number two is not having the guitar high enough. Listen, I know it doesn't look cool. I know that all your favorite guitar players, you know, from I don't even know what rock bands people listen to anymore, but they're all playing like down here and really low. All right, this is a mistake. And the reason this is a mistake is because you're impeding your left hand's ability to cover the entire fingerboard without bending your wrist, all right? You don't want to have that bend in your wrist. It's going to cause pain. It's going to cause discomfort. If you do it long enough, you may even give yourself carpal tunnel. So please put the pickups if you're playing an electric guitar, or the sound hole, if you're playing an acoustic guitar, about mid-torso, and make sure that the headstock is at about eye level, okay? You can do that with a strap, if you're playing an electric guitar. If you're playing an acoustic guitar and there's not a strap button, uh, sometimes there's only one, like on one side, for whatever reason. You can have one installed on, on this side of the acoustic guitar. You can also use a footstool, um, to prop your leg up, but you want this um, You want this posture when you're playing all right It's just going to allow your hand to very comfortably reach the entire fingerboard. Okay, so now both of our hands Are free to do what they need to do. All right, you can play any style of music on the guitar Whatever song you want to learn whatever solo you want to learn doesn't matter if you have the the right posture you're going to be able to get all those notes out, and you're going to keep your hands feeling really good, your hands and wrists, um, in the meantime. Mistake number three that all beginner guitarists tend to make, and I was guilty of this too, I was guilty, and I admit it, and I'm sorry, uh, is not getting proper instruction, okay? I'm, I'm not trying to tell you that you need to just go down to the local guitar center and get a teacher. You need to do some due diligence, okay? You need to vet these instructors. There are a lot of amateur guitar players out there that are making money giving guitar lessons and they have no business teaching, okay? You need proper instruction and you need to vet these professors, these, these teachers. Um, my advice to you for finding a good instructor is to contact some of your local universities. Oftentimes the universities have graduate students that teach. Um, some have programs here in Oklahoma 
at the uh, University of Central Oklahoma where I used to teach, um, they have a community music school that's taught by the uh, graduate students and they take students of all ages. So uh, having a, a good instructor, someone who really knows what they're talking about, it's vital to your success, okay? I spent years and years just kind of grinding away, teaching myself, and then, I, and then I had to spend another several years breaking bad habits, okay? Don't put yourself in that position. Learn how to play the guitar properly from the beginning. You're gonna have a really great time. You're gonna be really good at the guitar. And again, if you found this useful, please smash the like button, please subscribe to the channel, and if you have questions for me, leave them in the comments. I'll answer them. I will answer your questions. I was a music theory professor. I was a guitar professor. I was a session guitarist for at least a decade. Um, I've taught music for a long time. And if I don't know the answer to your question, I will find someone who does. Thanks.